If you see this puppet, run. Hello there, internet dwellers. My name is Baz and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are watching three videos that were sent in by you guys on the Discord. If you're not a member of my Discord, consider joining and sending me something scary. The link is in the description down below. Go to the Scare Baz submission channel. Submit me something scary. If I watch it, I'll give you a shout out. You guys are pretty good when it comes to showing me new stuff. And today, I think I found an absolute gem amongst uh, all the others um, that deserves a lot more attention that is getting right now. That is going to be the last video of today. But the other videos that we're watching today, the other two are just as good. So stick around. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. This is the majority of my content. Analog horrors, scary games every now and then. And you know, it's free. So if at some point you think, you know what, this guy sucks. I don't like this anymore. You can just unsubscribe, although it would probably hurt my feelings a little bit. But you know what? Free will, baby. You do what you want with it. So the first video we're going to be looking at, we haven't watched a Valox video in a while, so this should be interesting. Disturbing incident at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Security guard fatally injured. Date, November 14th, 2000. Local Freddy Fazbear's Pizza faces another tragedy during its final birthday celebrations. A malfunctioning animatronic critically injured a security guard, leaving him in a coma with severe injuries, including the crushing of his skill, skull and frontal lobe. This incident has raised serious concerns about safety measures within the establishment, prompting an urgent investigation into the circumstances surrounding the unfortunate event. By the way, all creators will be linked down below in the order that I watch them with the video accompanying them. Be sure to watch them in your spare time or watch alongside me with it in a muted tab just so you can give them some watch time because watch time is what gets you promoted in YouTube. This video may potentially contain seizure triggers for those with photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. You know, I, I trip over my own speech Remember, sometimes. need to be quick and keep our heads down. Oh. Take photo evidence of anything that goes against safety regulations. Keep the cameras running and record any conversations with the staff. Mm -hmm. We just need something to get this place shut down for good. Or they're going to come back with a fancy new restaurant under the Fazbear name and soon mm -hmm. everyone will forget what happened again. All right, calm down, dude. Come on now. We'll make damn sure no one else does either. Your sister deserves justice. No one will forget Hannah, and Fazbear Entertainment will be destroyed for good after this. Yes! Let's go! You've got to be fucking kidding me! I can't believe they still let Freddy's hold another birthday party before closing just because the damn family was rich. Wow, okay. Good a bit of exposition there, guys. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So is this what happened? Broken arcade machine. That's good. Is this what happened in the law? It was the last birthday and then um, someone died. Oh, gee, what's that? No wet floor sign. Hazard. Yeah. Where did that even come from? There's no like pipes there or anything. Ugh. Neglected mess. Uncleaned vomit. Vomit? That's vomit? Someone just threw up on a plate? That's crazy. Rat. Just hiding in the corner there, just chilling, minding its own business. It's all good. Oh, wow. Broken chair leg. I mean, that's got to be a weight issue right there, right? If a, if a big person sat on that, that's it, it's crumpled. Chica. Damaged animatronic. Where? Where's the damage? She's got fr freaking daddy issues. Is that what's damaged about her? Chica, what is wrong with you, Ryan? Stop it. What was that? Was there something there? Yeah, look, there's like a freaking ghost child here. What the heck? Okay, here we go. Broken sign. I think your camera's broke. Why has Chica got English teeth? What's happening there? Chica, mate. Oh, mate. Dinner. <laughs> you know the rules. Kids Cove. That is like, what was that freaking, um, that convention with the paddling pool? The paddling pool, it was like, they, they said it was going to be a, um, ball pit, and it was just literally this, a paddling pool with, like, a few balls in there. I forgot what convention that was. That does not look safe to be around, let's be honest. Yeah, I wouldn't get closer, I think. What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> you're not supposed to be here. 
Whoa! You're not supposed to have a barely functioning heap of metal twitching about. Get lost, kid. You can't be here. This is a private birthday. What private part of birthday. private do you not understand? Oh, God, mate. Wait, he's got a freaking... Don't say it, Ryan. I was about to say a level three gear. What is wrong with me? This freaking brain rot's getting to my head. <laughs> oh, yeah? Look at that. My God, this security guard just squats. So why is that? Huh? Look at that. You idiot! What did you do to the animatronic? It's literally... It was like that, mate. Nothing. Uh, that's just how I found it. Oh my god! Woo! Oh my god! He lashed straight onto that head. Bang! Look at that. It's gone. Oh Mate, he said you said the frontal lobe was damaged. That whole head was clamped in there. More than the frontal lobe. And honestly, I think he missed the frontal lobe right there. Oh dear. Okay, so that guy is dead. That's uh, pretty freaking terrifying, though. Imagine that happened in real life. You're at a Chuck E. Cheese or something, because then the freaking animatronic clamps down on your head. The bite force of those things must be insane. But, you know, as a robot maker, you should really make sure that the pound pressure isn't that much, you know? Robot scrapped. Freddy Fazbear is closing after being open only a few short weeks. Freddy Fazbear's pizza is closing its doors. New animatronics will be scrapped due to possible malfunctions. However, the original characters are being... Uh, something kept in hopes of a possible... Okay, so they're reopening, basically. And just like that, they finally shut down. Uh... How does it feel, Henry? <laughs> this man's drunk. I could easily shop you into one of those stupid robots. Like those kids. Okay, well, this is just a full-blown confession at this point, you psychopath. I want you to suffer. I want you to feel the pain I felt when you kicked me out of my own company! Mate, he probably kicked you out for a good reason, let's be honest. Was this before or after the Henry's daughter died? It must have been after before, because that's what made him get revenge on the daughter. But when did Ethan die? Was that before or after? Is it Ethan? Whatever the kid's name is. I kept one. The old suits. Mm -hmm. And I used it. Used it? Okay, to go crazy. More than once. To rain blood on your parade. My god. This dude's got, um... Could do radio with this voice. William, maybe you should stop killing children and just go into radio, man. I need to figure out what makes these robots tick. What is it that's keeping these children on the edge of life? Trapped mm. as immortals, cased in metal. Mm. End tape one. End tape one, okay, so that was... There's gonna be more to this? The bite. Very nice. So is this going to be a new series, or is it just a one-off? Because that was pretty freaking cool, Valox. Good work. Amazing work, as always. Keep up the amazing work. Go uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys. I forgot to mention, guys, but that video was recommended to me by Zach21000 on my Discord. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. The next video we're going to be watching is a very short video. It was submitted on my Discord by Neptune, and it's called... Mochi Games TV, Poppy Playtime, Chapter 4, Huggy Wuggy VHS. Mochi Games does some pretty fantastic animations on Poppy Playtime. I feel like Poppy Playtime in itself is its own genre of like uh, found footage stuff. You know, like how like, there's FNAF and there's Poppy Playtime. They could have even been bendy. Um, I feel like found footage just lends itself so well to these kinds of genres or these, you know, uh, mascot horrors, I think. I think it works really, really well. Kids started complaining about the stranger's presence in their bedroom when they were trying to sleep. Stranger's presence? One of the employees decided to set up a motion tracker sensor to see what's happening. Or see what's up. I'm just making up words now. I'm just making this up as we go along, guys. Ugh, can you see it there, look? Or is that like meant to be like one of those, um... What do you call them? What are they called again? Playtime? Motion? Ooh... Yeah, I can sleep in there if I was a... Is that a hand? 
Oh! Oh my god, what, just such loud sounds like that really freak you out. Oh my god, and now it's just stood there doing some kind of red light, green light? What's going on? Imagine waking up and seeing that, guys, in the corner of your room. Oh, it's waving at us. That's nice. Oh, it's gone. Nothing was detected. Looks like exposure to red smoke. Wait, nothing was detected, but it said motion has been detected. Okay, and a nice little <laughs> FNAF jump scare at the end there. Fantastic. Yeah, the animation that Motia Games does is really, really good. Keep up the good work, Motia Games. Like I said, guys, go like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to move on now to the last video. Now, the last video was recommended to me on my Discord by Rando Man, and it's called How to Survive a Puppet Attack, Analog Horror, JT Juts VFX. Now, this was the video that I saw. I quickly skimmed through and I thought, why has this only got 96 views? So I'm hoping that reacting to this and uh, giving this channel and creator a shout out that maybe these numbers can go up a little bit. That's what I hope for. I don't want to just be reacting to these and just like taking views away from these people. I want you guys to go and check them out for yourself, basically, and, you know, continue your support. I like to highlight these creators just so you guys can check them out and hopefully you can increase their view count and their watch time and stuff like that and their subscriber count. So with that being said, be sure to go and subscribe to JT Juts VFX. Like the video, go comment something nice. Honestly, um, it looks fantastic. Let's just jump straight into this. How to survive a puppet? Uh, how to survive a puppet attack? How to disassemble a puppet? Okay. Oh. Step one. The puppets are prone to sudden unexpected movement. This can come in the form of twitching, violent spasms, or even geographical relocation. Okay. They deleted the last one for some reason. This is known as phantom movement. Using a screwdriver, unscrew the plate at the back of the neck. So, after finally getting the position, the business announces that seven days later, they're going to shut down. This is my first job. I have no other source of income. It is so ridiculous. That's a bit of music there. What is that music? Basically, I have lost my job. And I have one final task here, which is just... Wow, you lost your job. This puppet. Honestly, screw them. This isn't stuffed animals. Here. What's going on with the music in the background? Should have seen the rumblings that I feel like the the music less like something like this was gonna happen. So. For stuff like this, it should be a drony ambience. I don't think that like uh, an actual soundtrack behind really it's works. But the visuals are really good. I like the visuals. Unless that music's genuinely coming from the speakers, in which I'd be very concerned. I'm working myself into an absolute fit of hysterics over this, so... Where is that stupid puppet? Let's just get this over with. I think they said he's stored way in the back, and they just disassembled it. Okay, so the... It's like the guy's done, like, a vlog, almost. Yeah, I think that's the only the only problem I'm having so far is the um the, the soundtrack. I think it kind of takes you out of the thing and makes you feel like you're just watching a video <laughs> rather than like something that was found, like found footage. You can see that puppet there. <laughs> uh. Why would you yeah, it's not kid friendly at all. You need to dis- no sudden movements, mate. Yeah, who the hell designed this for kids, man? My god. Okay, so there's a little utilities section right up towards the front. Uh, I think they store stepping stools and whatnot over there. Now, they may have cleared them all out at this point. Mm-hmm. Clearing everything out? I- I don't know. Hopefully it's still there. Where is this place? So this is like a mall. Or is it like a place dedicated to these puppets? It looks so like it's a mall. In the tutorial, it mentioned that the puppets sometimes are prone to little, what they, they call phantom movement, uh, just random little spasms where they'll move on their own and they'll jitter and do cre really creepy stuff straight mm -hmm. out of a horror movie. Yeah. But, uh... 
Yeah, genuinely, you don't need that. I think you've already got a good kind of sound design on the go. You don't need that soundtrack. Okay, if you do that, a soundtrack for stuff like this would be a dr kind of like a droney sound, I think. You know, to give you a bit of unease. But sometimes just like no music is good enough. The silence is like... There you go, like that kind of drone. Suffed ams. Animals. 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 So, I don't have no idea where the lights went. Mm hmm. Probably not a great sign. Why are you going back? This is like um, the oldest view. It's giving me that kind of vibe. The oldest view. So is it just the one puppet you've got? Oi! Okay, that was a little bit over the top. How on earth did it get out of there? There's, there's no. Is there an exit I'm missing? How did it? Get? So I'm really on edge now. I don't know how. Mate, on edge. How would you not on edge before? Look at the design of this creature. It's like Huggy Wuggy if he put on like, like I don't know, a lot of weight. Oh, he's covered in blood as well. Don't climb it. What on earth are you doing? God. <laughs> as if it understands him. Oh, sorry, mate. I was just playing around. Sorry. Um, so I'm really scared now. I, I know it is all just phantom movement or whatever, but... Okay, where did it go? Oh, good. Phantom movement. Like, you wouldn't hear that thing moving. Wait. I swear that wasn't there before. What is that? Weird. Oh, that's like a stair, like a stair lift almost, or like a. Whoa. Okay. Okay. See, the the music works for this bit here, but I feel like when you're walking around, it's just like it kind of throws you out of the immersion. Or I'll, I'll shut it. Still, I think you could mix it in a little bit better. This is just from like an editing point of view. But still, it's, the visuals are fantastic. Like really, really good. Voice acting's very good too. I just want to say that. Oh, what? So where it ends? Oh man, okay. I like the design of the animatronic. I like this whole lore, like of this uh, idea of these puppets, but I don't know what kind of kids would be interested in this thing. Let's be honest, that thing was an abomination. Yeah, the only thing I'd say is the sound, the sound like track. You don't necessarily need to be playing like a soundtrack in the background. I think like with found footage and stuff, nice, nice humming, like drone kind of ambience in the background, very subtle. And like, I don't know, when something big happens, you just kind of blend it all in so that it doesn't feel so much like you're watching something and you're hearing something playing over the top of it. It blends in as if it's all happening together. And it's a very subtle art to it. Like, but you know, it's like when it's done right, no one really notices it. It's one of those things where uh, it's like if you edit really well, no one's going to know how good your video was edited uh, in terms of like continuation and stuff. It's like that. Once you get it right, once you get like the, the sound design right and you mix it all together good, people won't notice it. But I appreciate that stuff for sure because it really adds to the atmosphere. But I think you've got it down perfectly. I think that that was really, really good, JT Judson. You deserve a lot more subscribers than 288. So let me subscribe. And guys, if you do not go subscribe to this person, I am going to stop uploading. Okay, I want to see this person get to at least 1,000 subscribers. Otherwise, I'm just not uploading at all. I've said it. I've said it. There we go. Okay, because this is unfair. This is unfair that, that talent like this exists and they're just not, not getting any exposure for it. But with that, guys, that is the end of the video. And if you did enjoy my reaction, consider liking, subscribing if you're not already. Like I said, this is the majority of my content, analog horror, spooky games, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.